what's good YouTube it's your boy JR and in today's video I got the best working badge glitch on NBA 2k20 so I thought I would go ahead and share that with you guys and then also before I get into the video here's a, a VC code for Noti gang as you guys should know by now I try to give away VC on every single one of my videos so if you'd like to win some VC make sure you sub up and turn them noties on as well whoever gets here first will be the winner of the code that just seems like the best way to do it and then also I've been running this giveaway on all of my videos to enter again make sure you guys sub up turn on the notice and like the video also comment down below if you're on ps4 or xbox let me know your instagram or twitter if this video hits 500 likes i will pick and choose somebody out of the comment section and send them a 10 dollar psn or xbox gift code and you guys already know that i'm looking out for nota gang so in this video i'm just going to show you guys the unlimited my player nation of badge glitch which gives you times two vc times two badge progress and then times two rep as well and then this is going to be the ps4 version and I do apologize the footage on this video is was before patch 10 but this glitch is still working exactly the same even after the latest patch I just haven't been able to bring you guys an updated PS4 version yet because I don't have a PS4 so I'm gonna have to borrow footage from someone but that doesn't even matter because this glitch still works exactly the same as it did, did before there was no patches or anything like that so I just wanted to let you guys know but yeah man and then also this is how you can do it if you sum to the end of the season you can also take advantage of this glitch in the prelude and also if you can ask for a trade and then i've also on my channel show you guys how to do it on xbox so all those videos will be in the description down below i don't want to see anybody commenting ps4 or, or the xbox version because those will be linked in the description down below so yeah man um, i'm gonna go ahead and get right to the video thank you guys so much for all the support man it really does mean a lot so to start off this glitch <clears throat> This glitch is going to work for a player that you already have in the my career season after the prelude. Um, this works, I honestly believe this is the best way to do it. This is going to work best because you are able to sim to the end of the season. And whenever you do that, it basically just allows you to pick a team. So whenever you make a new player, um, if you plan on just skipping the prelude or whatever, I would try to go to a, a team that, that won't make the playoffs, like the Magic or so. Generally, they are really bad and you don't have to worry about making it to the playoffs. But to start off this glitch, you want to go ahead and sim out the season that you are in and then hopefully you won't get put into the playoffs. If you do, it's not a big deal. You just have to play through the playoffs. Generally what I do is if I had to do this, then I will put the settings on a Hall of Fame in five minute quarters and then I'll play each game and then I'll just sell hella hard and that way we lose the very first four games. So yeah, man, to start off this glitch, what you guys are going to want to do is just sim out the season. Okay, so after you sim to the end of the season, as you see, he was actually put in the playoffs. So like I said, you can just sell, you know, try to lose your first four games so you don't have to worry about it. And you can see right here that he also had he also already has a mob player nation game available. So in this video, I'm also gonna show you guys the rookie and um no fatigue glitch this glitch right here you can you can do it or you don't have to it's really up to you but you can use this along with the unlimited my player nation glitch um i don't usually do this glitch because i don't feel like the rookie mode really helps that much but like i said you guys can do it if you would like but if you have a my player nation game available just go ahead exit out to the nba 2k 20 main menu go to nba do today and then just select on a game and then you want to change the game difficulty to rookie and then turn the fatigue off like i said if you guys want to do this you can but you actually don't have to it's completely up to you as far as that step goes and then once you do that you just want to go ahead and join a friend that you have uh, that's already in the neighborhood and then once you do that you'll just be you'll just be loaded back into uh the neighborhood and then from there you want to go ahead and play the mob player nation game that you have that you have available so whenever you do this you have um no stamina and then you it's also on rookie mode so it can help get your badges up a little bit but i don't generally do this like i said because i don't feel like it helps that much but i believe he was on a 60 overall and you can see he got decent badge progress especially for being on a low overall player so i guess anything that you can do to help the badge grind then you should definitely do that but like i said it's completely up to you but um, once you've played your My Player Nation game, and if you don't have a My Player Nation game available, then that's when the unlimited My Player Nation glitch actually starts. So from here, at, like I said, you want to make sure you send to the very end of the season. So um, 
from here you'll be loaded back into the mob player nation tab and then you can actually go to uh, play next game and then you can click on end season but don't hit anything from here and then on your ps4 go to close application and then you can use ps plus and then on settings go on your settings go to application save data management and then from here you can pick save data and system storage or you can use a USB whichever one you prefer you can use PS Plus or a USB so in this case we we chose upload to online storage and then go to NBA 2k20 and then go ahead and upload the my career file that you see in this case it's my career 005 and then go ahead and hit upload and then you want to go ahead and reopen NBA 2k20 And then once the game loads back up, you want to make sure that you select on the current player that you are currently doing the glitch on. And then you'll, you'll be loaded back into the actual My Career Season. And then from here, under the Play Next Game tab, you want to go ahead and you can see right here this is the same exact player because we no longer have a My Player Nation game available. So go over to Play Next Game and then go to uh, End Current Season. And then from here, you also want to look on the My Player Nation tab and make sure that you go to a team that has a My Player Nation game available. So from here, you can just you can just hit X through all this right here. And I don't know why, but once you get to the very end of this, it takes a moment to load. I'm not exactly sure, but I sped it up here. But like I said, this will take a moment to load. Then you'll get this screen right here. Then it'll ask you to enter free agency. So you go ahead and do that. So the team that you choose, Make sure you go to a team, like I said, that has a My Player Nation game available. And then on the contract, you don't even have to mess with the contract. Just make sure the contract is set to uh, one season or one year. Just because, just in case you get stuck on a team, which I don't think that generally happens on PS4. That's more of an Xbox issue. But just in case you get stuck on a team, you just, you can just send out really. You can just send the season out really fast. But generally, you won't have to worry about it. But uh, he was just messing with the contract just to see how much VC you could get. But you just want to make sure the contract is set to one year and you don't have to mess with anything else. And then you just want to make sure that you go to a team that has a Mob Player Nation game available. So, um, and then once you do that, you'll be loaded into the My Career Season tab. And then from here, go to your Mob Player Air Nation and then go ahead and play that game. So, you want to go ahead and play that game, and then once you do that, you'll get your double badge progress, double VC, all that good stuff. You can all, and before you play the game, you can also do the uh, no stamina and uh, rookie glitch before that if you would like. But like I said, it's not something that I generally do because I don't feel like it helps that much. Once the game is over, go ahead, hit advanced, and then go ahead, and it will load you back into the My Player Nation tab once again. And then from here, you can see we no longer have a game available. So from here, go to your settings, go to application, save data management. Go to save data in online storage, or if you use a USB, then you can select that. Go to download to system storage. And then select on NBA 2K20. Select on that micro file that you uploaded before, the 0005. Yours could say a different number, I'm not exactly sure. Then you hit download, and then you just want to go ahead and reopen NBA 2K20. And then once you do that, you'll be uh, loaded back to the main menu, and then you just want to make sure that you click on the player that you are currently doing the glitch on. So once you load that player up, you'll be put back at the point at the start of the video. So whenever you click on the My Player Nation tab, you can see that we're back on that team and that um, there's no player, no My Player Nation game available. So from here, you wanna repeat the same steps. You wanna end the season and then you can spam X through this right here. It does take a minute to get through this, like I said. I don't really know why, it's kinda of slow, but it's not a big deal and it's definitely worth it because you're getting double VC, double batch progress, and then double my points as well. So before you do this, as well, you just want to look on your My Player Nation tab and see what other teams have a game available. And then it will ask you, it will say enter free agency, then you select yes. And then it'll bring up the screen to where you can pick another team. 
So from here, like I said, just make sure you pick a team that has a Mob Player Nation game available. Play that Mob Player Nation game and then you can repeat the same steps and you can play as many Mob Player Nation games as you would like. And then just keep, you know, repeating it over and over again. And I'm telling you guys, it's really going to help your badge ground, VC, and Mob Points. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Drop a like, drop a sub, enter my giveaway. I'm out. Peace.